Okay, the last time you heard from me, I gave you this message right here. I do have something that's going on with me that I have to get fixed. I mean, it's kind of personal. I don't want to bring it up. I will probably share it in about a week or two. I don't know how long it's going to take me to upload. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sit and say it's going to take three days, two days, four days, five, because some things might go wrong. Now, Basically, to sum it up, I said that I was going to go do something, and I had to take some time off. Now, a lot of y'all wrote me and said, I heard you had cancer. Oh, I heard you had this heart disease. Listen, nothing that I said gave you no impression of that. As I appreciate you for checking up on me, I wasn't talking about that. Sorry I was gone for so long, but I'm back. Hope you enjoy the video because it's a long one, but you're used to it. See you in three days. See ya. More than one. See. All right, so I'm actually in the airport right now. I'm going somewhere. I'm gonna let y'all know when I get there. I mean, it's no secret once I get there. Like, this pro I probably already told you in the title. I don't know, but this is the longest flight I've ever took in my life. Now, I want to go to Dubai. I want to go to Europe, but I just don't think I can be on a plane for that long. But I'm testing that today. Like I said, I haven't filmed anything in a couple days. I have been filming all those days. I just haven't posted because I just wanted to see how I'm going to do all of this. So I'm on my way to my gate right now. Eating unhealthy, Panda Express, but I'm going to be uh, starving my, well, not starving myself. I have a calorie deficit on a plane. And yes, I still wear my mask in the airport. I feel like that's where COVID came from. Nasty ass people. And I whoop dog ass. Boy, what kind of gang they think they is? I got me knocking at least 70 Bean hit ass. Blimp hit ass. Yeah, Alright, we're finally on the plane. Cool little seats. So I, I'm not gonna cap. I tried to get first class, but I thought you could come. I listened to the Kelly, fat ass. He told me that you just go up to the desk and you get it 75% cheap. Fat ass told me a lie. Now I'm just regular. I don't know what the regular I'm gonna share my stuff. So, I'll be right back. <laughs> Literally 14 hours later, finally on the plane. It wasn't that bad. I just didn't have first class. So I'm doing for my next flight. Like, I'm going to go get my first class flight right now. So I can't do that regular seat no more. If I had like a bed, it would have been cool, but I was just sitting there like the whole time. So, um, yeah, this guy here, it was cool. Uh, but talk more when I get out to the airport. I got to go through customs and all that extra shit. I'm supposed to have a uh, driver out here late when I get out here. So. All right, my driver just got here. They actually filming me right now. It's lit. So, uh, yeah, let's see what happens throughout the rest of the day. There you go. It's a nice little car. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's like like some Maybach seat. Oh shoot, that's me right there. <laughs> there go me right there. Yeah, we've been watching your videos. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate it, man. Y'all, you're good. You got the nice little floor. Just well, got to that hotel. Okay, I man, y'all don't even know where I'm at, but yeah. All right, so I'm walking now, walking to get something to eat. I'm not even really hungry, but I gotta eat. Um, side note, I'm only here for like a day and a half, and no, I haven't told you where I'm at, but it's clear where I'm at. I just I ain't bringing it up yet. I don't even know if this place is open. Pain. See. So, this place is closed. I'm gonna look for somewhere else now. 
This is the place that we was going to. They got Drake right there? What the hell? All right, stop and got something to eat. Probably my last meal while I'm here. I got some mini burgers. I'm kind of, I'm not gonna lie. The past 24 hours, I'll be eating pretty bad. But whatever. So, um, just say right here. Out of town cuisine. Out of the country cuisine. Hell is dumb. All right, so um, update on the food, it was trash. I don't want to talk that much, but I do want to tell y'all what's going on. So I, I, it's not that I kept it a secret from y'all, it's that I did it literally last second, last minute. So I want to, just to give y'all a backstory, I am in Turkey, so you probably guessed it. A lot of people was DMing me when I made that video. I kind of made it seem like something was wrong with me, but it wasn't. I was just trying to come up with a decision on if I should, um, do it or not through these past uh months and stuff like that so i ain't gonna lie man ever since i've been working out and changing my uh body i've been wanting to just to perfect everything you know bad bitch status you know what i'm saying that's what girls call it when they you know get their bbls and hair done and nice outfits and bags i'm a bad bitch today so I was just, that's just the you know um slogan that i'm using so i am in turkey right now but i want to give y'all a backstory so y'all probably don't believe me but before everything happened me and tory lanes we was cool i wouldn't say he uh we wasn't we wasn't like best friends but we was cool and i talked to him a bunch of times so tory lanes had actually recommended the doctor that i went to um that long time ago and they end up doing this part of my hair so the lining and then this. So my shit was pushed back to the core. They ended up doing that and it kind of worked. It worked, uh, I think it's, on the sides it worked 100% right here, kind of like like a little patchy. But it's cool, it did what it was supposed to do. It did the job, I had a lining. But I ended up talking to my other homie. Oh, and I don't, I don't even know if this matters, but Trey Lane's ended up doing it four times and his stuff was still messed up. So I had a homie that went to Turkey recently he recently went to Turkey and told me like, I just got my, I got my, my hey, you see my hair? Nigga, I just left from Turkey. Nigga, and that shit was like a thousand dollars, mind you. I paid 27K for mine. And, and the good thing about it is that it was like 22 minutes away from my house. I drove myself home the next day, then had to go back every week uh, to get this little laser stuff. I don't even think it was, I needed it. I think it just would have grew anyway. So my other homie, his hair was just like, 10 times better than what Tory Lanez look like, like 10 times better. And it grew faster. So it grew in like four months. Instead of me, it was like seven. Now I got it in April and I stopped wearing hats around August. So yeah, it was around August. Um, So about five months, still, about four or five months still. But this time it is completely free. Now I haven't paid for anything. Only thing I paid for is my flight, my flight, Britney fight, flight, and um that's it so i literally just I, well, as you can see i got here they picked me up court and everything they're uh you know giving me the service so if they if they are willing to give me a service for free to 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 you know get their name out there they're gonna do the best job possible so i didn't want to do it because i didn't want the whole internet i didn't want to record it i didn't want the i was just gonna pop up a couple four months with my head show y'all my head uh, full of hair now, and what I'm not gonna lie and say it's not an insecurity of mine. I don't have, I won't have the insecurity anymore. Come 2024, no, my shit should be good. So I, I didn't, I just didn't want to tell y'all that's what I was doing. But I'm actually uh, in Turkey right now, and it is 11:48, right? Hey Siri, what time is it in Los Angeles? It's 1:18 in LA. So it's literally the next day in LA. I'm only here for a day and a half. Like I just got here uh my procedure is at in like seven hours and then i leave the next day at like 10 a.m and i'll be back in la at four so i'm only here for like you could say two days in and out am i nervous i'm i'm not nervous um i'm more nervous of like i, I don't remember if i was in, if i could go to sleep good if I was in pain, that's what I don't remember. And the swelling thing, I don't wanna go through that again. But like I said, it's not here, it's here that I'm getting. I'm getting the back of my head, so it's not the front. So hopefully, you know, that comes out better. But yeah, I'm in Turkey, man. It's, I thought Turkey was like a Russian, 
military base type shit but it's actually like just a regular it's it looked regular as hell my hotel is little as hell but it's cool let me show you all right y'all welcome to my hotel this is the uh our john by rotona i don't know but literally you walk in and then this is the bathroom just a regular bathroom with a walk-in uh sink thing um little bad bathroom regular sink um they still use house phones around here which is crazy and then you got this big ass couch it's probably big it's bigger than a bed the couch is bigger than the room but they stuff come with like cooking stuff uh, get like a washer and dryer which is cool this whatever the storm is What's this? a little cabinet you know what I'm saying? It's like a little apartment. I'm pretty sure this is what their apartments look like. This is cool, like a little little dorm. These are my hot Cheetos. I really feel bad eating these, but like I said, I was on a plane and I just didn't want to be hungry. It was 13 hour flights, crazy. Yeah, the couch, this, and then the bed over here. That's it, like, this is it. And that's why I like, most people that come here and get their procedure, they be here for seven days. I literally wouldn't, it's no way in hell I could be here for seven days. It's no way in hell I could be here for two days. That's why I'm here for a day and a half. So today is already the day of the procedure. I just have to go to, it's just in six hours. I have to go to sleep, wake up, do it. And then I don't know what I'm gonna do after that and then go home the next day. But yeah, I got I brought so many clothes Cause I, I didn't, I, I, I just didn't understand. I didn't know, I don't know why I brought so many clothes, but I packed so much. I literally could just wear what I have on for the entire time, which I probably do. So it's probably pointless. And yeah, this is it, but yeah. Room tour, I guess. So yeah, that's the room tour. They, what LA do, people in LA do is they do the bare minimum they do the bare minimum so you have to come back. Like even Floyd Mayweather came out. Floyd Mayweather did, the, the place I'm going to, Floyd went to, Akon, hopefully my stuff's only like Akon stuff. So. <laughs> that nigga shit dead ass wrong. But yeah, uh, you know, it was just like, a, it, it is an insecurity that I had that a, a lot of people go through, but you know, when you, you know, when God blesses you financially, you know, you could change, you know, what you don't like. So that's what I'm doing today. So I'm finna lay down an hour and 30 minutes talk to him for a little bit and then i'm gonna get take a nap and take y'all to the um procedure process side note i guess uh they do a lot of people at like a day so when i'm walking through this hotel you just see a bunch of people with bleeding top of their heads like bandages on the back of their head bleeding so i don't know how that's gonna work with me because i leave as soon as i'm done so i'm i don't know like i don't know if these people head just bleeding because they just in the hotel and they're here for four, five days. The average person is taking off work for like five, six, seven days, coming down here, head bleeding. Like, bro, I'm, I'm going to try to catch it on like tomorrow when I go back down to the lobby. It's literally people in there with their things on their head bleeding. Now, I record in public, I talk in public, but I'm not going to be. That's my own. That's my only thing. I'm not finna fly to LAX with my head bleeding. Like, I'm literally gonna get a hat, an oversized hat, or I brought some wave caps. Um, Yeah, that's why I haven't been cutting my hair, y'all, because I want the best results. Like, I haven't had a haircut since December 26th. I kind of like how my hair looked. If I if I took off, like, when I used to comb my hair, and I just, like, it was, like, light, I used to be like, dang, if it wasn't, i keep my hair like this, just, like, real nappy. Just get it lined up. And that's what I'm going to do come like November and stuff like that. Bad bitch dub is about 45% in. Anyways, y'all. I'll see y'all in the morning. 7 a.m. So I'll see the niggas in Turkey at 7 a.m. But it'll be literally like. Damn, it'll only be 10 o'clock where y'all at. Damn. That's crazy. But yeah. All right. So today is the morning or whatever. So it's literally. It's. 10 30 p.m or 10 30 whatever whatever it's 30 it's i know it's 10 o'clock at, at night in uh la and it's seven in the morning here so i literally probably went to sleep three hours 
you know, probably four hours. And then I just stayed up for like two. Now I thought about laying down like at one. I don't like the time difference. I'm not getting any sleep. So I'm, I'm literally probably is gonna stay up for an entire day. I probably stay up until, um, I probably stay up until it's time to go. So it is Thursday at 7 a.m. We leave tomorrow, tomorrow at one. So 10 o'clock in the morning. So I said in about 27 hours, we'll be gone. I'm gonna try to do something today, but like I said, today is the, the hair thing. So this is my hair right now. I've been growing it since December 26th. And it's kind of long, I ain't gonna lie. It's gonna be weird not having been in the hair and can push my hair back. That's why I'll be doing it in the shower. But as you can see, I'm not doing this, not here. I'm doing this in the back right here. As you can see, this is what I'm doing. I woke up, I wasn't, I'm not nervous. I just want to get it over with. Like I just wish, I think I'm more really worried about going home and like being like, what I'm more, what I'm more like nervous and stressed out about is going home. Like I want the time to go by faster and I don't want to uh, swell up again. Cause last time I did it, my face swell up, like my eyes. I mean, it's natural to be swell. I, I didn't hurt, it was just swole, but I just hope like my face don't get swole. And I just know like, no matter what I do today, it doesn't matter. It's about what happens in July. Like what, nothing that I do today affects how I'm gonna look three, four months from now. So today I'm gonna be ugly as hell, weak as hell. And then four months from, like, yeah, for like, a, I'm not even gonna take off my hat. So it's, you're not really even gonna see it. So this is probably the only time y'all probably gonna see me. But yeah, like I said, look, it's literally morning. It's seven in the morning, bro. Like I'm literally, what? look, watch. Just watch. This is how early it is here. And I would literally be up watching TV right now. I gotta go down. These people are supposed to be here at 7:30, 7:40. Watch. Look, he probably his mom. He at my mom's house. He probably. Hello. Hello. Why are you still up? What do you mean? Ain't it 10:40? No, it's 9:40. Oh. All right. All right. Bye. So yeah, 9:40. So that made me even more stressed out because i'm i'm just i'm just ready to go bro. i'm just ready to go home like every time i go places i just be ready to go home like but i'm just gonna forget about what the day and just go here maybe i'm nervous maybe i'm scared but i'm not but i gotta get dressed because it's like 32 degrees and they've been downstairs for 10 minutes you know what i'm saying i don't know how these uh turkish people act man. i don't know how they act when you are uh, late so let me get downstairs put the same clothes i had on from yesterday because Fuck it. All right, so my, uh, the homie came and got me. His name, Oliver. Oliver, uh, is the one that set all this stuff up for me. And they treated us to breakfast in this nice little place. It's called, uh, I, bro, I literally forgot how to read, bro. Like, don't get money if y'all want to be smart. Because I forgot everything. But yeah, we finna go, uh, get some breakfast. Oh, they got me mic'd up, too. It's my man's right here. He got the same camera as me. But we mic'd up right now so they can hear everything we're saying. But yeah, I'm gonna go get some breakfast, show y'all what it look like. Uh, be right back. All right, little mook bang. So, probably won't eat none of this, but I got orange, some bread, and an omelet. They ain't got no meat here, no omelet. Like, they don't have like bacon and sausage. Call it potato, potato cord, or something. Ass. Got me a cucumber. It's cucumbers. Yeah, yeah. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, it's hella different. Hella different. I think I don't like it. Just not what I'm used to. Nah. I don't really like it. Yeah. Took my blood, bro. But uh, in here. the people and stuff like that. Drop my shit on my head. This is where y'all put like the marker and stuff on the head, right? Yes, now we will do the consultation part. So we will draw your hemline and uh, plan the, all the operation areas. Okay. But they wrote this uh, shit on my head right here. That's where they're gonna be putting like shit out, I guess. But, um, yeah, they finna shave my head, so never had a bald head before. That's what's gonna happen right now. Bald head. Oh, okay, stuck in. Are y'all doing it at the same time? It's my first bald head. Oh, I gotta see this nigga right there. Just a green recording while I'm getting the ball hit. This might not even make. As you can see, I'm back to the room, back at the room. And um, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't really record anything there because it just was uncomfortable. Like, um, I'm just run you down the process. I mean, that's if you care, but if you don't, just get past it. So the process is when I got in there, they took my blood, you know, right here or whatever, make sure I have, you know, no diseases. And then they just laid me down. Now, mind you, none of these people speak English, but the person that you, that contacted me to do the procedure for me, uh, he contacted me. Um, he was talking to me, but he wasn't in the room. So basically, they put these needles in your head. Now, I don't know if I did that the last time I was in LA. I don't remember, but that shit hurt it like it hurt it so bad getting needles put in your head so the needle part was just making me like so like i want to say like anxious like 
it was making me like so like nervous even when they were done because it just hurt it and like it, it was the weirdest feelings like you, you could feel this needle going up and it was like a sharp 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 pain it did it like maybe 25 times shit hurt it and i just was in an uncomfortable position for about nine hours but looking with the ball head i had it looking kind of cool like it wasn't bad like i feel like if this doesn't work then i'm gonna you know rock the ball head probably in a year or two because i cut it it didn't look bad like it didn't look bad at all like as you can see i showed y'all in the video but yeah now i'm back and my flight is in um like 10 hours i'm trying to like my flight is in 11 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 no, my flight is in 12 hours, yeah. I'm trying to stay up until then, but I know I can't. Like, I'm just, tr I, I don't want to be up on this flight at all. Despite having first class, no, I don't want to be on this flight at all. Because it's uncomfortable. I can't sleep how I want to sleep with this on. But, yeah, I'm, like, hella tired right now. So, I'll probably just lay down and watch TV. But I just wanted to give you all an update. Uh, I don't think I'm going to record anymore while I'm here. Um, kind of show ready to go, but shout out uh Heva. Uh, it was cool. Like I said, it's the only bad thing is they didn't speak English. Why are you doing it? And you're in an uncomfortable position. When you're in LA, you're sitting like this the whole time, and then they got a TV and then like a stand. Like if you put your iPad and stuff on, I just think that they just don't get it here. You know what I'm saying? They don't get it that people like to be on their phone all the time. You know, I feel like America is like one of the places that's you know uh locked in like with technology and i think these people are like 10 15 years behind but if you want the hair transfer i do recommend going to them it was cool yeah i just want to give y'all an update like i said uh just show y'all so at the top all my hair is gonna have hair now instead of just on getting my lining back but yeah it should be like a two-month process i don't think i'm gonna make another video about this but yeah this is why i haven't uploaded this is why I left the country to do this, you know what I'm saying? Shout out, uh, I hope I'm saying it right. Heva or Hava. I'm pretty sure it's Hava, but it pronounced Heva. Um, really appreciate y'all for um, hooking me up. Uh, they gave me some perks uh, that I have to take. And I don't feel like anything. I don't feel any pain or anything, but I'm not a pill person. So hopefully I can go without taking uh, these drugs. But yeah, I'm finna lay down for a second. Watch TV or something. See y'all in a minute. Bro. Like, that's literally how I look. Like, when I first got here, I'm like, bro, you know I look like that. I literally look like that. But I had to come to realization that, because I didn't want nobody looking at me, but I had to come to realization. I'm never, I'm talking about ever in my life I see anybody here like, yeah. Even when I go to the airport, none of the people I see in the airport, I'm going to see again. Ever. In my life. Period. foam head so i just told this girl like like man i ain't trying to walk around looking like this uh i'll be the butt of everybody joke bro well, they talking about wait 20 days to wear a hat 20 days to work out negative so uh i told her can she give me a hat to wear she's gonna give it to me that it's like a bucket hat yeah i can know yeah i got it <laughs> so yeah i told him i didn't want to be get laughed at so she said I can wear this. How do you pronounce it? Heva? Heva? Heva. Heva. Alright, so finally on my way back to the airport. So they said that the Turkish Airlines is called Turkish Hairline. You said you're gonna see so many people in there with with hair, look at the head like this. So really walking around with bald head. Like if you had any like I've been through everything in life, bro. I've been through shootouts. 
I have been through graduations. I have been through new car smells. I have been through flat tires. I have been through almost drowning. I have been through the ocean. I have been to first class. I have been to business class. I have been through economy. I have been in a taxi. I didn't rode, I rode a school bus. I never rode a bus bus, and I never rode a train either, but I did ride, 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 ride a train. Rode a train in New York one time, and I got a bald head, so I've been through it all. But like I said, uh, yesterday, when I was explaining what happened, I was kind of like high, like they had, I was on a bunch of like drugs and stuff like that, but it was a cool experience. Like I said, the only bad thing about it is the, how they numb you up. Like you really feel it. It's like a hundred. It's like literally 27 needles going in your head, and they push this anesthesia. It hurts so bad. It hurts so bad, man. They just kept, brother, brother. It's okay, brother. No, it's not. Like shut the fuck up. But anyways, it was cool. Like I said, um, I'm just gonna forget about it. Like I'm here. Uh, this still ain't the longest break I took. Um, I'm here. Like I said, I'm just gonna forget about it. Hopefully in the next four four months we get good results. You know what I'm saying? Good for me, bad for you. If you if you uh you know what I'm saying, you get what I mean. But I'm on my way to the airport, our flight is like four hours. Literally slow this motherfucker down, bro. But literally uh can't wait to get back home. Whatever, come back. No. Should you come here to do it? Yes, but what I would say is, is like, I didn't pay. Uh, we did a collaboration, and I think I, three, I spent like I probably spent like six thousand coming here. But I didn't. That's that's just for flights. Like you can get regular flights, and you end up spending like you know two thousand dollars. But you should come here if you got a ball head. If you got a ball head. You should come here. It's, it's like hella cheap than in LA. LA, I spent 20, 28. Here, I spent zero. So, um, yeah. You should come here. But, should you visit? And, if you're a Muslim, you should visit. It's, it's a cool little religious place. But, other than that, no. When I come back, no. If I had to get another chance, hair transplant when I come back? No. The flight was too long. That's the only thing. If you could just magically appear somewhere that I would do it, the flight, no. Um, yeah. I realized, like, like, woo -ah. Really fake, bro. He only care about you when he around you. He lit, I called him. I talked to him three times, but it's because I called him. He never called me. To get to the airport, pop me a Benadryl and a melatonin gummy. Hopefully, don't wake up until the flight done. It's kind of pointless, though, because I got I'm talking to you, so I see how you Man, this lady says you're gonna walk through this airport and see people with bald heads. I'm the only nigga with a bald head in this bitch. Shit crazy. Only nigga. Hey, why you waving your hand at me, bro? I don't know you, bro. You good? Nico off GTA looking at. Up the a whole mall in the airport. Wait, is Turkey richer than uh, LA? No, still. Still to this day. Still only nigga with a bald head on here. Literally. No cap. Bro, this mall has everything. I mean, this airport, you would think it's a mall, but it's literally an airport. Like, this bitch shit no LA. Crazy. Like I said, I bought first class for this flight. Very anxious to see what this first class looked like. And I don't think Britney ever been on first class, so this is something for her, too. So, Let's see what it looks like. So. I was back there the last flight, man. It was first class. Um, like I was supposed to, but listening to Kelly saying you can come here and do it, that was a lot. I had to do so much to get here, but now I'm here. You see how much room you got? You know what I'm saying? I can, I can push this up. Leave me be, bro. Leave me be, bro. You know what I'm saying? First class. 
back to the crib. But like I was saying, I, I wasn't even going to record none of this. Like, I wasn't going to record any of this. I was just going to take a break, come back. And the moment I can start wearing my hat was when I was going to start recording. So it was going to be like April 7th when I was going to start recording. But, but I just got to be real with y'all now. You know what I'm saying? Y'all changed my life. So I just want to put y'all in everything that I do, man. Literally everything. So, yeah, man. First class flight. Very excited. Long flight home, but I'm not really, I'm not really anxious to get home as much as I was when I was all the way back there because, you know, you get treated nice up there. Sleep and shit. Real bed on my goddamn sleep. Real bed type shit. Real bed. Finally home, duh. Duh, finally. You watching a man in the shower while you playing a game? That, that randomly popped up. Do I look Everybody cool with a ball head? You think I look I better with a ball head? Who? Mr. Clean. You don't even know Mr. Clean. You clearly don't clean your room. Neither did you. All right, y'all. Long 13-hour flight back home, bro. Long 13-hour flight back home. So I've been home. Damn, I really got a ball head. I look like McQueen, bro. But I really, I've been home for like four hours. My flight landed at 4.55. We got through custom, got our bag, probably got home in like five, six, maybe. I don't know. So I've been home all day. Um, I didn't film much. I do want to apologize. I didn't film much of the procedure because it hurt it. Like, it didn't hurt the entire time. Is they put... 25 needles in my head at each point like you can see my head is red as hell like at each point they was like putting needles inside of my head to numb it they hurt so bad and i kept having post trauma of it so i didn't want to record because i was just like what if i record them and they uh and they um <laughs> hit me in the head with another needle but they was cool though like it was i think i was just too like high and i was like relaxed i don't know but after um i got the procedure today which was earlier today they cleaned my head the lady was talking to me she was hella nice um they were hella cool like i said i do see you know um i don't see a difference yet but like i said i'm just gonna forget about this whole thing i'm gonna forget about this and then over the months y'all gonna see you know y'all first two three months i'm still gonna have my hats you know what i'm saying so new dove hats coming because i'm gonna order some more so i can put on my hats but i can't work out for 10 days, bro. Can't sleep on my head for 10 days. Can't wash my hair in the shower for 10 days. So until like April 7th, I'm chilling. I'm just in the house. Um, like I said, if this thing don't work, I'll rock the bald head. The bald head is not bad to me. It looks good. I thought it was going to be bad, but it doesn't. It just got, I just got little ears. I'm probably going to get some ear surgery. But like I said, I'm about 44% in of being, I'm like 44% a bad bitch. You know what I'm saying? I say by May 10th, I should be uh, 66%. You know what I'm saying? I take a lot to get to 100. You know, I'm going to have to get six packs, more tattoos and stuff like that. But I'm about 44% bad bitch. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm on a uh, weight loss. I got to tone this up. Give me a new car. Get some new teeth. I know a lot of people thought that the break that I was taking was me um, getting my... Uh, Right. I don't know if y'all heard who up, but he was telling, giving me some advice. But, yeah, man, I'm just trying to uh, look as best as I can, man. You know what I'm saying? I want to be the best me, and I'm pushing that for the last seven months. And, you know, getting my hair finished is just, just one of the, the things that I had to do. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't 
I wasn't, when I first got my hair, when I was in Hawaii, that's when I realized like, bro, my hair is like hella thin at the top. Like if I cut it, it looked cool. But when you walk up to me, it's just like, this nigga is going bald, hella, hella bald. So I just finished that. I just wanted to do it for me. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't doing it because, you know, y'all was going to look at me better. I'm doing it for me. Like I want better teeth. Uh, I didn't brush three times a day when I was a kid. I want to do that for me. I like how TT TT teeth look. I was a tongue twister, and I like how my mom and my brother and shit. Every only people that ain't got veneers is me and George. So I think I'll probably get George stuff done too if he wanted. He can go with me. But yeah, I'm just trying to be the better version of myself. I am officially back. I don't think that I'm gonna upload that much while I'm sitting. I because I, I I don't I can't leave the house. I can't do anything. Like I can't get that much sunlight on my hair for 10 days and stuff like that. So I probably just chill out. I know I'm gonna break the rules probably in a couple days, but for right now, today is March 31st. I'm just gonna chill out for a couple days. Um, Skylar's actually in Montana because I told him I was leaving. So he went to Montana for a couple weeks. I mean, a couple days. So I'm gonna tell him he should come back like April 2nd so we can get, get it going. April 3rd might have an upload. But for everyone that was checking up on me, I appreciate it. No, nothing was wrong with me health wise. I don't even know why I made it seem like that. Uh, I just didn't want to tell y'all. I didn't want y'all to like judge me. And I know y'all gonna be hella like, you know, on me in the comments. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm ready for it. But like I said, Ball head dub is in the building. Um, not for long, but like I said, I got the, the transplant. I'm just gonna forget about it. You know what I'm saying? Sit here for the next eight days doing nothing. Uh, Cause it's been two days already. So sit here and do uh, eight days not working out, not doing nothing, you know, just chilling, playing the game. But I appreciate everyone that looked out uh, for me. I might do a video showing my friends and family my head, but I haven't seen my mom. I haven't seen, uh, my brother, Deshay, Derek, Pooty, Baby Rich, Demich, Meech. I haven't seen nobody yet, so I might, or I haven't even seen Skylar. So, only person that's seen this is Woo Op and Brittany. So, uh, yeah, um, like I said, I'm back. Uh, had to leave for my hair. I'm gonna, let, me, let me show y'all, and then we out. Here we go, man. Wow, my shit look like McQueen, bro. McQueen got a bald ass head. Then I hit my head earlier, I got a fucking, blood clot in my shit but i look like mcqueen bro if y'all go to mcqueen page this is how mcqueen shit look right now but it look good man i know a lot of y'all gonna be like dang dub you should get a ball here you look good my head just swole in the back but as you know it's cool in about two three days the swelling to be down and you know i'm back to myself but bad bitch loading up you feel me we're back and uh Let's get back to it. I missed y'all. Um, I wish I could have filmed more getting the procedure. Like I said, I was just in a state of shock. That shit hurt it, putting needles in my head. And I was just like, I was like, bro, it hurt it so bad that I was super shocked. It was, this is the longest I've been away from Woo Op for a minute. I mean, usually if I go on, like somewhere with my brother for like a week, I'm talking too much. I'm just talking too much because I haven't talked in four days. Love y'all, man, I'm back. Thank y'all for the people that checked up on me. Nothing was wrong. I was just getting myself together. See y'all next video.